Hello guys and welcome to part 3 of my drift build. So previous time we installed the white body kit on the car and also the angle mods. So today we're going to be installing my new camber arms from MG Solutions. They're a local company in Bulgaria. Very high quality parts, very affordable prices. I'm going to put the link in the description in case you want to get some angle kits or control arms or whatever you need to, base, to get basically for your car. So like, share, subscribe and let's get with it. So in terms of tools, basically this should be everything that we need. Um, I'm not going to say it's going to be a five minute job because probably I'm going to end up working seven hours on it. So whatever. Uh, yeah, this should be just enough in order to swap them out. You need the 17 for your wheels, obviously. 19 for the bolts that are holding the lower control arm to the actual hub. So, yeah. Okay, so that was a little bit of misleading information. I'm going to have to take off the differential. You have four nuts that are on the drive shaft. Then you have six on each side on the half shafts, and yeah, three more bolts that hold differential on the subframe. So yeah, not the five minute job I expected. Again, let's get with it. Okay, so everything is undone at the moment. Now I just need to slide it out of there uh, which I am not going to be able to film because I'm doing this by myself and I don't have a place to leave my phone so yeah no video of me struggling with pulling this okay so once the differential is out we have to undo this bolt and this bolt and we are going to be able to take off the camber arms and after that we're going to be able to put the new one so yeah again no video of me struggling so here is the side by side comparison between the old the old ones and the new ones um, basically yeah You can see with just one hand I can twist it and yeah, imagine what drifting does to those things. So yeah, I'm gonna be able to straighten my camber out. I was running about 3 degrees on the back, so no more of this shit. So yeah, now let's install those. I think um, before getting everything down on the ground I'm changing the old rubber bushings with new that are time joints in them with univar joint or whatever you want to call it so this should make everything more stable and it's not going to be changing the geometry as much when the car squats so technically it should help a lot 